With so many productivity apps out there, finding the right one can feel overwhelming. That's why I tested five of the most talked about tools, Sunsama, Akiflow, Notion, Reclaim AI, and Motion AI, to see which of these best productivity apps fit you the most. Before all that, let me explain what exactly productivity apps do. Most of them combine task management and calendar management, allowing you to organize, schedule, and prioritize tasks efficiently. Many also integrate with tools like Google Calendar, Outlook, Slack, Trello, Asana, ClickUp, and Zapier Automation, helping you sync everything in one place. Some go even further with AI-powered scheduling, proprietary automation, and smart scheduling links, allowing others to book time with you while avoiding conflict. If you're looking for the right productivity app to fit your workflow, now is the perfect time to try one of these five powerful tools. I left links in the description below to explore each app and find the best fit for your productivity style. However, not all apps are created equal, so I'll break down the unique features each one may offer you or your company. Let's take a look. Let's kick off this review with Sun Sama. Sun Sama is a daily planner app that helps you structure your day with intention. Instead of overwhelming you with an endless to-do list, it encourages mindful planning, making sure you focus on the right tasks at the right time. It brings together your tasks, emails, and calendars into one place while keeping things simple, structured, and easy to manage. What I like about Sunsama is that it doesn't just let you plan, it guides you through it. When you start your day, Sunsama helps you map out a realistic workload, even warning you if you're overcommitting. As you add tasks, Sunsama tracks how much work you've scheduled and suggests adjustments if you're taking on too much. It's not full AI auto-scheduling like the other apps on today's list, but instead, it acts like a gentle productivity coach, helping you balance work and personal time effectively. Another standout feature is task consolidation. Sansama syncs with tools like Todoist, Gmail, Slack, Trello, Asana, ClickUp, Notion, and Jira. So instead of jumping between apps, all of your tasks come straight into Sansama. For example, if a teammate assigns me something in Asana or if I flag an email in Gmail, it automatically appears in Sansama's backlog. From there, I can drag it into my planner and schedule it right alongside my other work. This completely removes the need for context switching, which saves time and keeps my workflow uninterrupted. Now, I'm a big fan of time blocking, and Sunsama makes this super simple. You can just drag a task into your calendar, adjust its duration, and instantly create a structured schedule that aligns with your real workload. But what really takes it a step further is focus mode. Once you start working on a task, Sunsama hides distractions, launches a Pomodoro timer, and even lets you take quick notes without leaving the app. It's an excellent tool if you struggle with staying on task. It keeps your attention locked in without clutter or interruptions. But there are a few downsides, however. The mobile app isn't as smooth as the desktop version, which can be frustrating if you need to manage your schedule on the go. It doesn't have a built-in habit tracker, which some people might miss. And while it's great for individual productivity, it's not ideal for team collaboration. There are better tools for that if you need something for managing a team's workflow. The next productivity app on our list is Akiflow. Akiflow is a task and calendar management tool that's all about speed and efficiency. Instead of switching between different apps just to keep track of tasks, Akiflow consolidates everything into one streamlined dashboard, helping you manage tasks and events without wasting time on manual organization. The mainstay of Akiflow is its task consolidation feature. Instead of using multiple apps at once, Akiflow pulls in tasks from Gmail, Slack, Notion, Asana, Trello, ClickUp, and more. It does so automatically, differing from Sunsama, which needs manual dragging of tasks into Planner for consolidation. If someone sends me an action item in Slack or I start an email in Gmail, it immediately appears in my Akiflow inbox ready to be scheduled. And the best part is when I mark a task as completed in Akiflow, it also updates in the original app, which completely removes the hassle of manually syncing tasks across platforms. As I've said before, I find time blocking incredibly useful, and Akiflow makes it really intuitive. You can drag and drop tasks into your schedule like most planning apps, but what sets it apart is that you can group multiple tasks into a single time block. For example, instead of scheduling five different email responses as separate tasks, I can bash them into one focused time block, making it much easier to stay on track and avoid distractions throughout the day. This is perfect for anyone who likes structured, deep-focused work sessions and doesn't want their day cluttered with individual task reminders. 
Now, the command bar is where AccuFlow really delivers for power users. If you love keyboard shortcuts, this feature makes everything ridiculously fast. With just a few keystrokes, I can create a new task, set a deadline, schedule it in my calendar, or even move it to a specific project without ever touching my mouse. If you're someone who values speed and efficiency, this feature alone makes AccuFlow worth considering. It completely eliminates the need for slow manual task entry. And touching upon potential cons, AccuFlow is geared more toward visual thinkers. So if you prefer a basic to-do list format, the time blocking style might take some getting used to. There's also a learning curve, especially with the command bar and custom workflows. But once you get comfortable, the speed and efficiency definitely make up for it over time. Now, if you've ever wished for a personal assistant that could automatically schedule your day, Motion AI might be exactly what you're looking for. Motion is a smart productivity tool that combines task management, scheduling, and project planning, all powered by AI. Instead of manually organizing your tasks and meetings, Motion automatically structures your entire day based on urgency, deadlines, and workload. If you want a tool that thinks for you and optimizes your time, this could be it. Motion's biggest selling point is its AI-driven auto-scheduling. You don't have to drag and drop tasks into a calendar, the AI does it for you. All you do is input a task with a deadline, priority, and estimated duration, and Motion figures out when you should work on it. If your priorities change, Motion adjusts your scheduling in real time. It reorganizes tasks based on importance while making sure meetings, deep work, and even breaks are all accounted for. For teams, it even lets you see colleagues' schedules and allocate tasks accordingly, which makes collaboration much smoother. Furthermore, Motion isn't just a personal planner. It has a full project management system with Kanban boards, Gantt charts, and task dependencies. It lets you create projects, assign tasks, and track progress all in one place. Let's take an example. If I'm working on a big project with multiple steps, I can break it down into smaller tasks, set dependencies, and let Motion schedule them in the most efficient order. This makes it a great option for people juggling multiple projects who need a structured workflow. And there's one thing I didn't expect to like. Motion's built-in booking system. It works just like Calendly, but with a twist. It automatically considers your workload before offering available meeting slots. Let's say I need to schedule a meeting. Instead of manually checking my calendar, I can send a smart link and Motion will only allow bookings in time slots that won't disrupt my workflow. If a last minute task comes up, it automatically reshuffles meetings to keep my schedule balanced. When talking about potential cons, Motion relies heavily on automation, which is great if you like AI-driven scheduling. But if you prefer full manual control over your calendar, this might feel a bit restrictive. Also, the collaboration features could be stronger. While it works well for individual productivity, other tools are better suited for team-based project management. And unlike some productivity apps, Motion doesn't consolidate tasks from other platforms. It only integrates with Google, Outlook, and Apple calendars. So if you use task managers like Notion or Asana, you'll still have to update tasks manually. Next up, let's talk about Reclaim AI. Reclaim AI is a smart scheduling assistant that helps you stay organized by automatically managing your calendar. Instead of manually blocking out time for meetings, tasks, and personal habits, Reclaim AI adjusts your schedule dynamically, making sure everything fits without overwhelming you. So what I really wanted to pinpoint about Reclaim AI is its AI habit tracker. Unlike regular calendar events, Reclaim's habits are flexible. They move around your schedule instead of disappearing when a last minute meeting comes up. For example, if I have a workout planned at noon, but a meeting pops up, Reclaim reschedules it for the next best available slot rather than just canceling it. It's a perk for making sure important routines don't get pushed aside. And if you struggle with constant meetings cutting into your deep work, Reclaim's no meeting days might be for you. You can block off entire days for meetings, like a no meeting Wednesday, so that you get uninterrupted work time. But here's the cool part. Reclaim doesn't just block the day, it cleverly reschedules meetings for the best alternative times. So you're not just ignoring people, you're making sure everything still fits into your week. Reclaim also automatically schedules tasks into your calendar based on priority, and deadlines. If I mark something as high priority, Reclaim finds the best open slot. And if my day fills up, it moves it to the next available time without missing the deadline. And talking about longer projects, Reclaim splits them into smaller time blocks across multiple days so you never fall behind. 
And for teams, this app makes one-on-one -on -one meetings easy. Instead of endless back and forth emails trying to find a time, Reclaim finds the best time for both people and schedules it automatically. And if one of us gets booked, Reclaim shifts the meeting instead of canceling it, making sure we still connect without unnecessarily scheduling headaches. So what I really like about Reclaim is how it helps free up mental space. Instead of constantly adjusting my schedule, Reclaim does it for me so I can just focus on actually getting those things done. On the downside, it only works with Google Calendar, so if you're using Outlook or Apple Calendar, you're out of luck. There's also no dedicated mobile app yet, which would make on-the-go scheduling even smoother. And the last app on our list, Notion. Notion is more than just a note-taking app. It's an all-in-one workspace that combines databases, project management, wikis, and AI-driven tools into one single platform. Whether you're organizing personal projects, managing a team, or structuring a complex workflow, Notion is as simple or as advanced as you want it to be. What really sets Notion apart from other productivity apps is its database system. Unlike a traditional to-do list, Notion allows you to build fully customizable databases that work as project trackers, CRMs, content calendars, or even personal knowledge hubs. For example, instead of a simple task list, I can create a task database with filters, priorities, and deadlines and view it as a Kanban board, a table, or even a timeline. This makes Notion one of the most flexible productivity tools out there. It adapts to your workflow instead of forcing you into a preset structure. Another standout feature is Notion's wiki system, which makes it one of the best tools for knowledge management. Instead of digging through scattered notes, I can create an organized base with interlinked pages, structured categories, and a clean hierarchy. If I'm building a company handbook, keeping research notes, or managing long-term projects, Notion's wiki format makes information easy to access and scale over time. And one of the most exciting additions to Notion is Notion AI, which is available as a paid monthly add-on. It's not just a basic AI chatbot, it actually integrates into your workspace to help you write, summarize, and structure content faster. In an instance, I can ask it to summarize long meeting notes, generate ideas for a blog post, or even rewrite text to make it clearer. It's like having a built-in writing assistant that helps with both creative brainstorming and productivity. But since Notion AI is a separate paid subscription, you'll have to decide if it's worth the extra cost for your workflow. Now, when talking about the cons, the customization options can be overwhelming at first. See, when I started using Notion, I spent way too much time tweaking my layouts and my settings instead of actually getting work done. And the offline functionality is pretty limited, so if you travel often or work without a stable internet connection, this could be kind of frustrating. We've covered the five best productivity apps, but if you're still unsure which one is right for you, here's a quick breakdown. If you want a mindful planner that helps you stay intentional and structured, Sansama is the way to go. If you need a task hub that pulls everything from different apps into one place, Akiflow is the most efficient choice. For those who want maximum flexibility and customization, Notion is hands down the most versatile option. Now, if you want AI-powered scheduling that plans your entire day for you, Motion AI is the best pick. And if you're looking for a tool that balances work and personal life effortlessly, Reclaim AI is built exactly for that. If you're interested, check the links for each of these apps in the description below. And that wraps up our look at five of the best productivity apps. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more productivity app reviews and tutorials. And if you've tried any of these apps, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your experiences. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.